Hello and welcome to the program. Did you know that the body uses lactate to produce energy? Stay tuned and learn about glycolysis and how the body breaks down glucose to provide energy. You will learn about aerobic and anaerobic glycolysis, hydrogen removal and anaerobic energy production. Glycolysis, the splitting of glucose, is the breakdown of glucose or glycogen in order to provide ATP, which occurs in the liver and in the sarcoplasm of muscle cells. Glycolysis is the energy system that predominantly provides energy for higher intensity activities lasting 15 to 90 seconds and it provides a net gain of 2 to 3 ATP. The initial steps of glycolysis are the additions of two phosphates of the glucose molecule at the expense of two molecules of ATP. The result is a 6-carbon sugar diphosphate molecule and two low-energy ADP molecules. This 6-carbon sugar diphosphate molecule is being split into two 3-carbon sugar phosphate molecules. Each one of the three carbon sugar phosphate molecules is converted through a series of reactions to pyruvate and hydrogen. So glycolysis produces ATP but also two byproducts, pyruvic acid and hydrogen ions. The hydrogen buildup becomes a problem because it causes an increase in the cell's acidity or pH levels, which prevents the cell from functioning properly and hence leads to a halt in energy production. Therefore, the two hydrogen transport molecules coenzymes NAD and FAD are important for glycolysis to occur because hydrogen ion removal must occur so that the cells can continue to provide energy. NAD accepts and transports one hydrogen atom so that glycolysis can proceed. So NAD becomes NADH, its reduced form. NADH has to donate the hydrogen portion to reform NAD so that hydrogen transport removal can continue. NADH can be reformed to NAD in two ways, with oxygen and without oxygen. When oxygen is available, the hydrogen from NADH can be transported to the mitochondria of the cell where the mitochondria can produce ATP aerobically. If oxygen is not available to accept hydrogen in the mitochondria, then pyruvic acid in the sarcoplasm can accept the hydrogen to form lactic acid and thereby reforming NADH to NAD. How the hydrogen ions are being removed depends on the presence or absence of oxygen, which is exercise intensity specific. During higher intensities, oxygen is not available to transport hydrogen. During lower intensities, oxygen is available. During higher intensities, when oxygen is not available to accept and transport the hydrogen ions, pyruvic acid accepts the hydrogen ions to form lactic acid, which rapidly dissociate to form lactate and hydrogen. Then lactate can either be used by slow skeletal muscle cells or the heart during aerobic metabolism to form ATP or during anaerobic metabolism by the liver to produce glucose via gluconeogenesis where new glucose is being synthesized, released into the bloodstream, transported to muscle tissue and used by muscle cells as energy. So, lactate can be used to provide immediate energy for muscle cells during aerobic metabolism by transforming lactate to pyruvate to acetyl coenzyme A, which can enter the Krebs cycle, or lactate can be used during anaerobic metabolism to synthesize glucose or glycogen in the liver, which then can be used again by muscle cells for energy.
the process by which lactate is being transported to the liver and converted into glucose or glycogen is called the Cori cycle. Well, that's it again for today's episode. As usual, opinions differ. What's your point of view? Let us know below in the comment section. A brand new episode will be available next Sunday. So make sure you don't miss it and subscribe. In the meantime, I recommend you watch some of the previous episodes. You should really watch them all. If you like what you saw, tell your friends. I'm sure they will appreciate it. I'm Philipp Halfmann. Thank you for watching and Auf Wiedersehen! Tennis Conditioning TV episodes are licensed under Creative Commons. You are welcome to link or embed these videos, forward them to others and share these ideas with people you know. Brought to you by Advanced Concepts of Strength and Conditioning for Tennis. Available at TennisConditioningBook.com Music by Dan O at DanOSongs.com Yeah.